Bruv, I can't believe you're here, like, it's so yeah. casual. Andre Andre Gray in the building! Bro, I'm very happy. It's another podcast. And people said last time I wasn't speaking in the mic, so it was a bit everywhere, so I'm gonna make sure. X Factor thing. <coughs> Bless you, bro. Sorry, man. <coughs> Central heat is getting pricey, nah, so. That's all right, bro. That's me. Turn it off, keep it. How you doing? Good, man. Good. Yeah. Good. Mm. So, what would like a, like a average day for you look like? Like, is there like any hobbies? Have you got any like strange little habits you do, like that like golf or I don't know, horse riding? Or everyone's just. Andre Gray horse you know riding. Yeah. <laughs> if I knew Andre Gray, the man Bowling. from the block, yes. goes horse riding, I'd be like, yeah, I love some man that yeah. could do yeah. it too, fast. <laughs> no, some Django no, thing, you know what I'm it. saying? <laughs> that as well. Nah, you know, you'd be surprised, you know. People must think that. Me and Leon just uh, always out going to the restaurant and this, that, and the other every night. We'd literally we'd go home and just watch Netflix. Honestly, I think that's that is most of our day. Nice. Like, we just we go to work and it's like we go home and it's like shut everything else out, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. And just, yeah, chill with the dogs. <laughs> <laughs> How many dogs do you got? Two. Yeah. What dogs are they? I say this like I know dogs. I know nothing about dogs. <laughs> One's hair, so hers is a pug. And then we've got an uh, American bully. That yeah. sounds dangerous, bro. Yeah. He's a big yeah. boy. Is he dangerous? Is she the dog? The yeah, bully? can be. He's a big boy. Mm. Oh. Yeah, a big, big boy. The real Footballers ones. love dogs, you know. I know Colin's got like five, four dogs. This guy's played in like Mexico, yeah. Brazil, England, Greece. Wherever this guy goes, these dogs are yeah. there. Is it a thing like do you could you come across as a, a quite a, a alpha male as well? Yeah. Is that hand in hand with having a dog and then Yeah, I think so. I've always loved dog. I've always had a dog since I was young, so I think it just it's just part of part of the furniture, you know. Is Tradini got a dog? Yeah. Ah yeah, yeah he definitely yeah. got definitely a dog. Definitely who else at Watford would have a dog? Telephone? Nah, he doesn't look like he has a dog. He's got a poo dog or a cat. He's got yeah, it's about Yeah, a dog. See what I'm saying? A small dog like Yeah, he's on this cute vibe in it. The Corey, now nah, the Corey doesn't look like a dog, like a dog man. man. He, looks, nah. he looks interesting. Hughes, yeah. Hughes has got two. Yeah. Will Hughes got two? Yeah. yeah, Hughes looks like he might have a dog. Um, Who else is there? Foster. Foster? I don't think he has. Nah, no, it's not a Nah, I've heard him talk. Foster looks like he's a right laugh. A parrot, yeah, isn't yeah. A parrot in a cage. He's a bike man. <laughs> he's a, bird, a, man. a bike man. He likes biking, man. Oh, is it? Proper cycling. Bruh. Is that what he's going to do after football? Who else is there? I don't think no one else. He was a keeper. No, no. Dukuri. Nah, but Dukuri, yeah. that, nah, he just doesn't look like a... Yeah. That, there's not many, you know. I think that's about it. Mm. What is it like, though? Like, how, what's, what's what for, like, day-to-day now? Now you're a Premier League footballer. Mm. Established Premier League footballer. Day-to-day life. What are the things that you think to yourself, I can't believe this actually happens in football? Because there's so much things that, for example, within this industry that, mm. before I got in it, I thought, ah, oh, it must be so rigid and so mm-hmm. and then you get in it and it's like it's not even that mm-hmm. much of a big deal like I go to MTV and the way the way I thought MTV was it's like mm-hmm. nah it's bare calm like I mm-hmm. can bring my mum down there like it's all normal yeah. it's not as what am I in football what are the things where you're like I can't believe this has happened like Rio was telling us about fights in the tunnel once and I was like what mm-hmm. do you mean so like, yeah there's always fights in the tunnel what do you mean there's always fights mm-hmm. in the tunnel I, I thought everyone just walked in and everyone was really really yeah. nice and no that, that happens man arguments so all sorts. <laughs> like, people just think that in it because they feel like, I think everyone feels like footballers are just robots. Mm. Uh, like we're supposed to be able to do this every day and it, it's, we're human beings. Like exactly. literally, we, we've got feelings, we've, we've got lives, things happen, you know what I mean? And I, for some reason, I don't know why it's like, we're supposed to be robotic and, and it's what we're doing. Like, yeah. it's no, frustrating. It is, it is, of course, because I think you even seen the other day in a paper about going on about all the players going to Dubai and that for mm. winter break and stuff and going out and stuff. And I'm like, well, yeah, they're human, isn't it? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. They're allowed to have a bit of fun when the time's right. And um, that is probably the best time. Yeah, winter break. Yeah. You know what I mean? Especially um, in a controlled environment where everyone's there. Everyone yeah, knows that they're there. It's exactly. not like it's a bicycle. Yeah. It's, it's mad. So it's, it's, it baffles me sometimes that I think it's obviously the media portrayed in 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 that way, in it, mm. and then obviously the fans jump on it or or whatever. But but we're human beings, man. Like. Yeah, I mean, we, me and Pat have always felt even from like the early days. Mm. 
So, you know, Raheem Sterling getting, we say, unfair oh. treatment in the media. Say, a bit of black football players in general throughout history have been mm. getting an unfair treatment in a lot 100%. of the tabloids. Mm. Um, I know you're quite proud, proud black man as well. I've seen the mm. tattoos. Jested them, innit? Mm. Yeah, it's yeah. She, she yeah. did my yeah. tattoo as well. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I remember seeing them on your back and you yeah. kind of got these portraits of a lot of black heroes, yeah, important yeah. black heroes throughout history. Mm. Um, is that a big part of, we say, who you are and the pride you, you kind of hold of, of your identity? Yeah, I think... Because I didn't learn it in school or nothing. Um, and it was only a, like probably a, as I've just got older, I've just obviously be, become more apparent, you know what I mean? Like when I was young, it was just, you don't really see it to that extent. Mm-hmm. Um, so then obviously the more I looked up and, and whatever, it just became a big thing for me. Mm-hmm. And then, um, Obviously, I enjoyed getting tattoos as well, so yeah, it was, <laughs> it was fitting. Yeah, but you find any of those maybe like I don't know, some footballers face discrimination, kind of going through the system and mm. feeling like you maybe not feeling like you belong there. Did you ever mm. have that, or did you kind of just have the mentality of I'm going in this and I don't care? Um, no, because it's like back in the day, and it we're there for entertainment, so mm. it's, I never felt it to that extent now, but. It's always been there and it always, it still is now. Mm. Um, it's just, just more institutionalised. Yeah. How comes it's such a surprise then to, because um, you know what, one thing I find remarkable is when people come out and say, people in within the game and say, oh yeah, the racism's always been there. Mm. But then yet people within the game will be very surprised at situations manifesting. Mm. I've seen a footballer in Portugal come off the field recently mm. and he just walked off the field. He just didn't want to be mm. a part of the racial abuse if it has been in the game so long do you see a way of it actually being able to not get rid of it totally that's asking too much but mm. do you see a way of it actually toning down a bit because it seems like it's for me anyway it seems like it's getting worse that's the that's the big big question in it and that's the what the answer everyone's looking for but until certain things are are being done then it, it's just going to stay like that because the punishments are not they're not long enough they're not hard enough they're not banning someone from a game for a year or whatever is, <laughs> they're still able to watch the game at the end of the day it's, it don't make a difference so if it was a Watford fan I'd hope they get banned for life mm. and that mm. sets some sort of president to say like look it's, we're not would not accept any yeah like, 100%. and if that's what you want to do then because especially Watford was such a multi cultured team there's all types of races in our team that unless you start with your with your own club to try and you know what I mean I just think I just think people need to get banned for life at the end of the day and with that Portugal one yesterday I I felt like the teammates should have walked off with him as well. Mm. Yeah, they were sort of pulling him back. Yeah. It's always a bit of a weird. Like some people say, don't walk off because like if you, if you walk off, you're giving mm. in. But then, so I, I don't know. I'm more of kind of like walk off and then show that it can't happen because you end the game. But, mm. but then it doesn't give that power to the people that are doing it. It's such a I just weird think, one. I think everyone's different, isn't it? Everyone reacts different. Like, so I think you have to go off however the play, player feels and if the player felt yesterday that he, that's what he was doing walking off the pitch then the only way to support him is to, to go with him mm. and I, I swear they sub when he come off they subbed another black player on oh, are you serious yeah. see that <laughs> oh my yeah, I so wouldn't have gone and I'd have been like big man have yeah. you seen 300 so it's, it's it's what I'm saying so I think everyone's different in it so it, I think you have to go off and it's hard when it's a whole stadium doing it like it was yesterday. Oh. That's yeah, that's where I feel like it. yeah, you're gonna have to to walk off when it's one individual. For me, it's a bit different, but I don't know. I think it's sad. It's, it's just sad yeah, that it's, it's got sad, to this point yeah. in, the, in, yeah. in football where there's so much different types of mm. cultures and so much things to celebrate that that happens to be, especially in the Premier League. Mm. Like, I can't believe sometimes that like, we're still having to go through the situation, but mm. I accept it. I kind of accept it that it's a part of football. I just need to figure a way of getting out of it mm. and not complaining. But 
like I said, the person in Portugal, it would have been nice to have seen everyone sort of mm. say, do you know what? Let's all just walk off. Yeah. Like, let's not pre- tell him to stand here yeah, and, yeah, yeah. and pretend Don't that we're going to, yeah. no one's going to listen to us like at the end exactly, of the day. Do you yeah. know what I mean? Let's actually all yeah. walk off and yeah. support the situation as well. It must be not such a, they were a painful experience, but it's tiring to always mm. have to keep on speaking about it as well. Hundred percent. Yeah. Do you ever get tired of having to always having to speak about something like that? No, it is because it's nothing's happening, nothing's changing. So, mm. you know what I mean? Yeah. And <laughs> one day someone's gonna get punched in the face for it, <laughs> and then that'll be the big story. You know what I mean? <laughs> I'm just waiting for one of these young footballers. Yeah. 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 Our kick. Oh, do you know what? God forgive me for saying that. That become iconic. But I'm it, not saying would, do it. But I'm saying mm-hmm. I'm not saying do it. Should do it. But if I saw it, allegedly. Really. <laughs> but I just I don't know. These people don't say it to your face, though. I mean, they're just shy it from afar. Mm. In Rosehead somewhere, yeah, right yeah, at the back. Yeah. 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 It's cowardly, but it's again, it's, it's what's in the mm. game. I'm trying to accept it and move forward. But mm. I mean, what I mean, you've achieved a lot in your in, in your career. Mm. The, we're talking about Burnley winning the league, top goal scorer. These achievements here does it make you hungry to achieve more in football? What I mean, what other things do you feel like you want to contribute to the game? What other things do you think to yourself I can contribute to the game? Um, still a lot. I think like I'm only 28 still, Trust so. Me. Obviously, just wanna just wanna keep playing and that in it, and finish my career in the Premier League. That would be the dream. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I think it's just I always take take things one step at a time, really. And obviously, at the minute, it's just trying to get back in the team and, and scoring again. Because mm. I look at what footballers, you know, some footballers do go and play abroad. Mm. Being playing abroad becomes a, a very prominent thing. As much as you'd want to play in the Premier League, if mm. playing abroad ever became an opportunity, is that something you would say at the back end of your career, possibly the States or something yeah. you'd want to do? Yeah, just possibly. I think things just change, innit? Mm. You have all these, what you think you'd want to do. Yeah. And then yeah, yeah, yeah. as you get older, you you might, things just change, innit? And you might feel like, yeah, I might want to go play abroad and enjoy the last couple of years without the... The cool Huge sun, pressure, go to yeah. LA, go to oh, yeah. walk down the beach. Yeah. Oh, imagine That's that! I mean. No one bothering you, really. <laughs> no, yeah. they might say, Look, who high, yeah, little five guys. <laughs> no, a look, all five <laughs> guys. There's no racism as well, really, to be fair. Well, in LA, everybody's no. too high, bro. everyone's, yeah, everyone's <laughs> yeah, everyone's just yeah, gone off their heads. <laughs> and in the stadium, everyone's like, Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's like still firing t shirts yeah. at half time. <laughs> <laughs> He actually needs to play for us. <laughs> nah, it could be an interesting yeah. experience. I mean, I'm, I'm really excited about football abroad nowadays, to mm. be fair. I'm looking at what Sancho and I'm not doing. So yeah. I, mm. I, 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 could, I could see you doing like documentaries, like but in like mm. a comical way. Mm. I have this, you know how, because now the image of you riding a horse is in my head. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. A horse riding can... documentary. <laughs> Yeah, like Carl Pilkington when he's not impressed with yeah. anything. Yeah, yeah, he was funny. He was funny. You what have that kind funny. of effect of yeah. like tr- like trying to impress Andre Gay. I think that <laughs> is incredible. You everywhere, and you're just like, ah, it's alright. Like, <laughs> it's, so, it's not, I'm not too fussed. <laughs> <laughs> I think this is something we should look into, Andre. I don't know. What, I don't know what else would bang though. I think I could see horse riding being definitely one. Mm-hmm. Maybe like a croquet. I don't know, like random ones. Fishing. I think she's nah. Like alligator, I'm just saying like alligator, <laughs> alligator hunting. <laughs> yeah, I'm just trying to think of wild things in my head. That is just so out of. What's the most out of comfort thing um, you've done? Out completely out of your comfort zone. What's the most out of comfort zone you think of? And that may even make sense. Oh, I don't know. You know, I will just stay in my lane. <laughs> <laughs> See, these are trying to get me yeah. to go skiing this Sunday. Yeah. I'm trying to say to them. You're not gonna I don't know one black person that yeah. skis, so I'm just not doing it. <laughs> not even mixed race, like not even half. Like everyone that's going is white. I'm the only black one. I'm just it just same seems like a horror film in my head yeah. right now. <laughs> Wait a minute. I got that image in my head now. I can't think of it either. Can you see? Shit. Like who? Like even I've watched films, like when black families that like, were going on holiday, none of them are skiing. Yeah. I just uh-huh. gotta follow the patterns. Love to but, to experience it, but still, <laughs> I just can't see you going. For, I can't see you yeah. like going in your head. I'm gonna book. Nah. Then again, maybe you would one day. Like fuck it, I'm going skiing. Would you ski? Oh, I want to go horse riding. 
I don't know. I've been horse riding. I told you. I did it. I really, in, in, there's a club in Colombia, isn't it? Is it? And like literally, all the tables are like on the outside, mm. and people just jump on the horses and, and go around. No Wait, way! It's, it's a sick. club. Yeah, it's like a club. What do you I'm mean? What do you mean? What do you video. mean? <laughs> what is this? Wait, what have you tapped into? Yeah, here, I told you, I felt some what horse riding this? in here, bro. What have you tapped into? You have to stay, stay quiet as well. Not tell us about it. <laughs> like it never happened. He's like, nah, shit, he's going to me. <laughs> <laughs> he knows something. <laughs> <laughs> nah, it was jokes for telling you. And it, it was impressed, and it was in horse riding. Told I can't you. believe this. Oh, I'm glad I got, I'm glad yeah. I broke that one. Yeah. Look at this, it's a video. Oh, so I'm watching you. It's <laughs> <laughs> you on a horse. I love it. The worst thing is one of the job. boys slaps it on its ass as well, and the thing just on starts. The Andre is not on it. So wait, is it a club? Yeah. What you'll oh, see. Wow. <laughs> oh. It is a club. Everyone is just walk. Wow. What the hell? Andre great horse riding. This happened. Wow. And the people are just eating and drinking on the side. Yeah. Full of flipping cartel bosses in there. <laughs> <laughs> Tell you. We the only I told you. There. There's a documentary series potentially. So you go around and then you have to take a shot. What? That, was. that is wild. <laughs> nah, I'm on it. <laughs> I was not expecting that. Not no, at I all. Was, that has really it's sick. It was good. It was proper Colombia. Like you felt like <laughs> part of the culture is mad. Have you got what other places have you been to traveling wise that you maybe mm. explored or maybe want to explore? I try to go somewhere different all the time, you know. Yeah, what's been like a favourite like, standout place? Zanzibar. Zanzibar. Ooh. Where the hell is that? This is Ireland it? off. That's where I went. Af- Africa, Come yeah. In it. Tanzania, yeah. by Tanzania. By Tanzania, yeah. What's more island? I think it's an yeah. island, right? Yeah. What's, yeah. What crazy things happen there? I went there with my missus, so he's more chilled. Chilled, yeah. Mm. Oh. Zanzibar and chill. Mm. Survive. That sounds like a real good vibe. Yeah. It sounds like a good film yeah. that should come out. <laughs> yeah. Basically. And then you have to ride a horse in it. Yeah. From yeah. Colombia there. <laughs> <laughs> have you been Iceland yet? No. You need to go Iceland, bro. There's a giant warm bath outside. Oh, the, the spas and the What's northern, northern lights. Northern, northern lights. lights. Yeah. Especially with, stuff. Yeah. with the missus as well. Yeah. It's so lit. It's such yeah. a nice, it's a proper couple thing. When you go, there's just loads of couples. Yeah, yeah. I want to go. My ex, yeah, maybe not. I was also like. <laughs> <laughs> Bad memories. Oh, yeah. I was looking at your tattoos and then I was oh. kind of thinking about the ones that Andre has. He's got like Huey P. Newton, got like Malcolm That's the X. Thing, man. And you've got Uber. You've got fucking Uber. Uber. Like Uber. Family guy. Got like the, the differences. Um, um. <laughs> but it's like off white, so it's like an off white arm. Yeah. Um, I've got a tattoo that says if Carlsberg made tattoos this would probably be the worst one. Yo, it's got Pac-Man. How come you decided to like use the sensible route for tattoos? With real icons. Real like, real, yeah. real like. like those aren't icons obviously big up, you know, Family Guy. And, on and Uber. Uber. And Uber. Yeah. It takes us everywhere. They're, I mean, it's a great app. When Uber first came around I couldn't believe yeah. my, my eyes. I tried to not get it as well. I don't know yeah, one of my, my ex-girlfriend was like, yeah, you can just get this cab on your phone and it comes. I didn't want to believe her. <laughs> like, she's showing it to me. I'm like, nah. It's mad. This is a lie. Like, what do you want about? What do you mean it's going to come and I'm going to go home for how much? And you know, the black back in the day, yeah, like yeah. the the black cabs were like, what, like 40 pounds? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was like 17 pounds. Even with my cheap. I couldn't cheap believe bro. my yeah. eyes from central London back home. <sighs> And then you're saying you get in and you're like, wait, what? And, and this guy just Prius. drives you home. I didn't realise there were so many Toyota Priuses in London. Do until we Uber- Oh no, they must be the highest selling cars in the world. Oh, I swear what? to God. Everywhere you look, the worst cars ever as well. Do you think so? I like the back, the lights at the back. Them. When you're in them, you just, you can tell you're in a cheap, cheap car. Yeah. <laughs> Although if you sold drugs, you should just drive a Toyota Prius. Because who's going to stop you? They're just going to think, think you're Uber, Uber driver. Yeah, you yeah, get an Uber sticker, stick it there. Get one of them little things that smell good at the front. The little tree thing. Yeah. The Christmas it, tree. I would even put a, a half seat. open so it doesn't get, because if you leave it too open, it, it exactly. goes quickly. A bike rack on top. A yeah. bike, a bike rack on bike. top. <laughs> Car skis. Skis. But imagine, if they know you, and if you're black, they're not stopping yeah, yeah. you. Know? 
<laughs> no black man skis. Man. He's a good kid. He's a good kid. <laughs> no, this is terrible. This is racial. <laughs> so Zanzibar, <laughs> Mexico, with the horse riding. I'm so happy I got that. No, it's Colombia. 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 Where else? You have to go Iceland. I'm telling you right yeah. now, you'll love it. I want to go Brazil. I might go this year. Nice. Brazil, man. Brazil is beautiful. Panama looks sick. Panama. Panama. The Panamaniacs. Mm. Panamaniacs. Panama Canal. You haven't been in Brazil? Mm-mm. We spent five weeks there. That's so yeah. nice. It was crazy. Was it five? Three. Three and a half. Three and a half. Yeah. World Cup. We went there pre, no, because we went there first so, and then so we, we came. went back home and then we went out again. This good, guy yeah. is crazy, bro. Listen to this. Now, we, now I'm, you have to understand what I've had to deal with sometimes in my life. Andre, listen to this, cuz. We were at the park. We were in the favelas yeah. and they was having an after party. The party is crazy. It's everywhere on the streets. Yeah. There's so much you? going on. We're going to get to that point. Men, we realise, it's getting late. We need to get back to our hotel. There's no way you can really get a cab or anything yeah, like yeah. that. So you just got to try and walk. We've walked, followed him the directions on his phone and then we've stumbled across this long street. Oh. Now, on the opposite side of the street, I noticed people that are probably the same size as me. I'm six foot four, decent height have longer hair than me and my hair is like almost not shoulder length but it's quite long um, they have like bras on and stuff and but they just look a little bit masculine so I'm very confused and there's multiple there's loads of them and people are driving up to them say hey get in the car and they're like yeah I get in the car and they're going in the car I don't know what's going on but I just know I don't want to be on this road <laughs> one of them whistles at me and Vuj <laughs> Andre that's enough for me to go this is crazy not Vooch. <laughs> Vooch stood there and turned around. <laughs> yeah, just talking to the to, to, you know, to the people and yeah, yeah. Shout out to the man them. All types of man them, but definitely go Brazil. Real yeah. Janeiro yeah. is nice. Um, Brazil. Would you would you go Brazil? No, Sao Paulo. Sao Paulo is cool. Sao Paulo is nice. The no, beach is banging. I put in a great performance. Goalkeeping. Had a couple of great saves on the, on the oh yeah beach, yeah, 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 yeah. beach football was really nice as Got well some highlights, mm. highlights what place do you want to go what place is a place in the Caribbean you've been in the Caribbean right mm. Jamaica yeah, yeah Jamaica. is your background in Jamaica mm. Jamaica yeah, yeah. English yeah what's it like when you go back I love it no. the crowd in it yeah it's like home man like <laughs> a, you just feel like home you weren't born yeah. here you were born here yeah I was born here but like but, obviously half my family were all, were all from there so What's it like when you go? What, what makes it feel like home? What are the elements that go? Yeah, that's home. Food, weather, just everything, man. Just the vibe. Proper feels good, yeah, isn't it? When you go back there, it's just chilled, isn't it? Like, and in Jamaica, they let you know you're proud. They're yeah, so yeah. proud if yeah, they yeah, let yeah. you know. Yeah. What you go back? My grandson. They yeah, phone yeah, all yeah. of these people. Yeah, 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 yeah. They're talking to straight. You know, this is my grandson. Yeah, They're like, yeah, yeah. All right, <laughs> <laughs> this is the twelfth person. Yeah. Like, it's so proud yeah. so I, I think it's like they really have a sense of community and spirit yeah. and enjoyment I've proper no, I love it man I love Jamaica man and everybody will have a conversation with you and it will mm. charge you two dollars for it yeah is it yeah they'll charge you for the conversation do you guys bring back suitcases well, I do that I used to do that quite a bit like full of clothes you have like demands from the cousins and no not really I I still try, try to avoid it <laughs> <laughs> so you have the demands but you're yeah. trying to avoid it Wrong. Checking people might be like scared to ask you even. I don't want to take no. the piss or like. Not Jamaicans. Uh, no. <laughs> they don't care. <laughs> my cousins tried to draw my girlfriend in front of me. Oh, <laughs> wow. Oh, that's, uh, uh, that's Jamaica me. <laughs> yeah. Oh, they're, they're the bashment Jamaicans, I'm guessing. Mm, the ones that are in the tree. <laughs> 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 oh, <my God. laughs> what it? I see a video the other day. The mud. With the guy chucking a like girl against the tree. Oh, Jamaica, I miss it, man. What? I do miss Jamaica. I do miss Jamaica. Music radio. <laughs> what, music? what music radio? No, there was like a. I think it was like a YouTube channel, not like a website that used to post those kind of bashment videos. Are you serious? I used to kind of yeah, be into that. <laughs> well, he's a world star. Talk about music. Though. What music are you into before? You need Usual, bro, rap. Mm. Does that have like? Does me? What type of? Like, I feel like music and favorite artists are hand in hand. So what? So you're gonna go and play? You like your UK mm. guy, but I reckon it depends on the no. game, though. Yeah. So say it's like Manchester United away. Yeah. Sky Sports. Mm. Eight p.m. Gary Neville's been talking about it since seven o'clock. Eight o five. Eight o five. Eight o five. 
What are you listening to to amp you up for that game? You are starting you and Troy Deeney up front. Mm. Meek. 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 Mm. Yeah, that way. I from out. Yeah, that's getting you out. I haven't hours. heard new Meek really. I've stepped away from. I've heard a new Meek single with like Justin, Justin Timberlake. Yeah. He's got a Justin um, Timberlake? JT. Mm. It's just not for me. Not for you. Have you heard it? Like it's a bit slower, isn't it? Slower. Yeah, it's not that yeah. meek, yeah, it's not, high energy. Yeah. Mm. It's, it's good, but it's time and a place. It's like a late night <coughs> drove song. Mm. Mm. I have a feeling you might like a lot of R- like slower R&B, though. Mm. I do, to be fair. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> to be honest with you. quite a hard read. Yeah. Time in the place though, isn't it? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Not before Man United yeah. at 8 o'clock with Gary Neville talking eight about five, no, eight, no, eight no. Eight five, no. That's more 10.37. Ten, ten yeah. yeah. So what about 3pm? No disrespect to this team in any capacity. Aston Villa. Mm. No, let's give you actually, let's give you Chelsea. 3pm, London Derby, Chelsea. What music are you listening to? Probably a shuffle that. A shuffle. Yeah. That's what happens, isn't it? Yeah, it's one of them yeah, games. Chelsea right? game, whatever happens, happens. They've got mm. loads of other 25, so it can feel like that. Who, I get who's bored of listening to the same music, so I'll just, I'll press oh, shuffle it? and then mm. boom, boom, until I find something I'm like, yeah. Like Jer- sometimes the old school, like old school game or something will pop up, and I'm like, yeah, I forgot about this tune. Yeah, uh, the game album was great, that yeah, one. Documentary. Yeah, documentary was banging. Mm. I missed that game. Ali Bouma, yeah, mm. a few bangers on there, yeah. like, proper good bangers. He's gone crazy now, man. Has he? Yeah. He's I just saw a, post, a photo he posted on Instagram with his penis quite apparently like on show. Obviously, it's not his. He does it all the time. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> man's first trapping, first trapping. I think obviously girls get yeah. reputation on Instagram, but there are people like Game who's a guy. Yeah. But I'm for, but I'm, and you know, like you like see it and you're like raw. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's mad. Apparently, he photoshopped some of it, though. <laughs> I've heard about that. <laughs> that is mad, bro. His back off or his front, right. front off? Because. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine photoshopping your front off. That's oh, fucked. Oh, man. Nah, he can't be doing that. He's already. You photoshopped your front off. He's 40 years old. Now. <laughs> <laughs> he can't be doing that. He can't be photoshopping your front That's a new word. I like that. Front off. <laughs> Because he had a his uh, his last album cover had a load of pregnant women on the front of it, and I just yeah. thought to myself, if he my youth was plot, in it, oh. use the plot as you get maybe too rich. Yeah, easy yeah, it's... When you get too rich, it's just and you're in America, and there's a, you know. Do you reckon so? Do you I, reckon, reckon I think it's Americans, you know. Do you reckon it's just Americans? Yeah. yeah, us Brits are a bit more reserved. I mm-hmm. think it's the American culture, like even down yeah. to like some of that. Like I watched some documentary the other day about the American footballer. That was mm. out here just doing crap. Oh, did you see yeah. that? Yeah. Did you watch that, bro? Wild. Oh my! And the thing is, like, he, did, like, he topped a few people, and he nearly topped like more, but yeah. he missed or something. It's literally like he killed two people and won the Premier. Then won the yeah. yeah. Imagine someone won the Premier and just killed two people. Just had a couple. Yeah. Just imagine David Silver was a killer. <laughs> yeah, I know. I know. Arrested for three murders. <laughs> David Silver. Nah, I want my money back. No way. Who would be more? I think, hmm, I'm to think, yeah, someone like that. I want, like, you don't know the ones that you don't really expect it. Yeah. Lucas Slava, you know, like. Lucas! <laughs> do you know what I mean? Like, Troy Dini's too obvious. Yeah, I'm yeah, like, scared of Troy. You can't pick the man there, does it? Yeah, tr- that's Troy. It has to be someone like you least expect. <laughs> James Milner. <laughs> yeah, no, but him, you can see him doing it, though. He's got that quiet, kind of assassin vibe to him, and a big jawline. Who don't yeah. I expect? Who I'm like, nah. That's what I mean. Like, Nathan Ake. No, never. 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 Nathan Ake is a really nice he person. He seems like he... Yeah. He still wears ties. Yeah, he always looks like... T-shirts. A, yeah. <laughs> and his dreads are neat. <laughs> they not like jammers. It's just all over the place. Yeah, he's like a neat guy, isn't it? Yeah, proper. Ake seems like a proper neat guy. I think he's got Arsenal. Yeah, he's a neat player. Good. Very good. You might know him more than us, but... He's very mm. good. What else on Netflix? You said that, you know, sometimes you go home and just sit down and watch Netflix. Yeah. Black Mirror? Oh, I was a bit unsure on that. Yeah, same. It's a bit weird. It's a bit scary though, you know. Thank yeah. I feel like that's they're just telling us like this is the future. It's happening, it's oh. coming, isn't it? Yeah. Especially the one that was kind of like Uber but just all over yeah, the place yeah, where yeah. you're actually rating people. Yeah, yeah. Wild. Like you would have to rate what would you rate this conversation yeah. right now? Imagine this is <laughs> yeah. Black Mirror. I think you've, you've given us at least a five of this convo so far. Yeah. 
Four. Four. Six. 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 <laughs> We're getting there. We're getting there, guys. At first, right. they didn't trust us. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about these YouTubers. <laughs> <laughs> saw your tattoos. He said, nah. But this guy's lost a fucking plot, <laughs> innit? So who's this white guy with a shape up? Who's the thing he is? <laughs> it's a nice shape up, bro. <laughs> Oh. I'm right, look, he's laughing because it's very so never. Jay Porter, you know. Now, a little bit, innit? I saw one time we went out, I saw Andre Gray, I have never been so afraid. <laughs> what? Were you afraid? Yeah. Um, using, um... <laughs> I said hello to you, but the distance between us, I had to make sure it was right just in case anything. Yeah, okay. <laughs> that was in, uh, what's it called, didn't it? That um, rooftop finger. Yeah, so yeah, 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 yeah. I just knew the girl at uni, I was like, yo. <laughs> I am walking with this, I'm keeping this much distance from you. If I see you in the rave, have a nice evening. You're right. Yes, yes. No. I knew. No. What? No. Never. Problems. Never even. Con- don't, not even a thought. Nah, not at all, man. You know, you know the ones. You saw the boyfriend material. You said no. <laughs> Hell no. I don't think any other guy did try to either. <laughs> there was a radius of safety around her. It was like a Russian submarine. <laughs> It was oh. wild. <laughs> and we all just supported him. The man of course, was everyone him. just came right. back. We wanted you to do mm. that. Nah, that's good. It's nice. Do you know what it is? There is something about your story, though, that I think we can all kind of relate to in a weird way, where it's like, it is the individual that didn't play non- that played non-league, mm. Shrewsbury, released, okay, non-league now, having to reinvent yourself, having to rewire yourself, mm. reprogram yourself, and then get to the point where, yeah, guess what? I just watched Netflix on the evening. I said yeah. I don't do much because mm. I can afford to not do much and my career's at a point where I can and I'm still persevering. Mm. Did you ever even picture this at any point? No, never. Serious? Mm-mm. Never. So did you just like take it day by day? Yeah, I think, obviously I think when I was at Luton it was, right, get to League Two or whatever. Mm. And obviously went Championship and then it was like, just do well really. I didn't really think about the Prem. And obviously we got playoffs in it with Brentford, mm. and then obviously I went, when close. I went to Burnley, that mm. was that was when I was like, yeah, I want to. I'm close to doing it now. Then to get in the prem. So it's always so. just like a little incremental mm. step, yeah, 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 incremental yeah. step, yeah. incremental step, and it's just like yeah. it's, it's like chipping away at the rock. Can we do that meme when the guy's chipping away at yeah, this like yeah, cave yeah. thing and there's a diamonds, and he's yeah. so close and the to it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, it's like almost that kind of yeah. process. Like patience, isn't it? Patience. Yeah. That is the madness of patience. Where keep going, man. Because yeah. you never know actually how close you are. That's the craziest true, thing. Bro. We're mm. all like a little chip away from a move. Mm. Like, Looking away from something is so freedom dangerous. Or financial yeah. freedom or who knows what it is. I hear you. Yeah, I hear you. I hear you. I've been walk- close to walking away from all this internet shit. Serious? Yeah, man. It gets a bit like... Mm. Did you ever get close to just walking away from football just thinking, ah, oh, scrap this? Yeah. I think I, I, I would have always played, but not to... A high level. Yeah, you just I done it just, as a hobby yeah, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just because yeah. I did it, but... Is that difficult as well? Do you know, like, when, when I started this, it was uh, like, I wanted to do it full time, mm. but I never really had the confidence or know how to say to somebody, this mm. is full time. Was there a period when you were playing football where you didn't feel confident to say it, or was it because everyone always just supported you? And Yeah, it did cross my mind, especially when I went playing at Hinkley and that. Mm. I was like, oh, just fuck this off, man. <laughs> yeah. I know that vibe, yeah. trust me. I know so that the went from, from fucking this off to like. Yeah. I'm back in. Mm. What was the catalyst or the moment you go, ah, fuck, I'm back in? Or did someone give you another chance or was it? No, I just got back in the team slowly, but, and then I just, like I started scoring and then like, I was playing again. Yeah. And then obviously we played Luton in the, in the FA trophy it was called or something. Mm. So then it was like them kind of things where it was like, oh, it might be a chance in it. And then obviously I played well against them and then they signed me after that. So. Mm. That's so good though, man. Mm. It's so nice when like, like I said, you don't walk away. You are mm. chipping, you're chipping and then there's a little signs where it's like, ah. And then you get that moment where you mm. are, you know, you do win the championship with Burnley, player of the year, top goal scorer. We were even watching your goals um, just now, mm. your top 10 goals. and mm. Even little things like that. I wish I had a top 10 goals. <laughs> I swear to God, I wish I was a footballer. Part of me actually wishes. You've got wishes. some highlights on YouTube. 
Yeah, I've got I some decent goals. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Send them on YouTube games. Yeah. A couple got Anfield. Oh, a couple goals, yeah. Telling me hanging. Scored out. Scored out. Scored out. Scored Come on. So we played at Wembley as well. We played at Wembley too. We all played at Wembley. Yeah. This is lit. There's bare pro wow. footballers that can't say that. <laughs> and I can say that as a YouTuber. Yeah, yeah. actually massive, isn't it? Oh. I was watching yeah. one, of, one of your interviews. I think one of the BBC guys is talking to you, and you must get that question a lot mm. about how you got into the fight. Mm. You got the scar on your face, mm. and that what that being like a big moment in your life for mm. you to go. You could so easily go one way, mm. but you choose to go the healthy way. Mm. I feel like it was just the transition was coming anyway. Okay. But then that was just like you just you got a decision to make in it. Do I go the other way or do I just let this be and and concentrate on where I wanted to go? Mm. So I just I just I just took that path really. Mm. And um yeah, it just worked out. Yeah. That's so refreshing. Are you a little bit hungry? Uh, a little bit. There's that little bit here. There's yeah. some snacks here. Yeah. We were too afraid oh. to get them to you. <laughs> <laughs> bro, I just got Ooh. bare like... Ooh. Look, bro, this is... Oh, obviously, you're driven, you know this is yard, man. There's one and cheese there. Mm. I like it's one of those things that you, yeah. don't, you just kind of take for granted yeah. when you get older. There's like, like niche side dishes. I'm telling you, there's yeah. fruit punch, Guinness punch, and some next punch. Yeah. Someone's getting knocked out. Not me though. <laughs> I'm not in it. Not I'm me either. Yeah. I, was, I was calm at uni. I was <laughs> you can ask. Wrong. Stayed away. <laughs> <laughs> Give her a ring. How was that boy? Fine. Two Ooh. festivals. I wish. The planting. Yeah, that you know why I'm here for the planting. What's planting or planting? planting? The Ooh. debate continues. I've heard. Wait, there's something else is different. I think we planting. Why can't they just be cool? Why can't we just have two ways of calling it? Planting? Pla- what are you planting? Dumplings. Yeah. Oh, what is this? There's just why do Jamaican dishes gotta be so greasy? Patties, Ross. I felt like you were hungry. I looked at you and said, you know what? That looks like Jamaican hunger. <laughs> <laughs> do you get bored of people asking you the same questions yeah about your past and stuff yeah to an extent to an extent for now come I've said it all innit yeah, exactly mm. Mm. but I don't mind at the same time it's just a part of it innit yeah did you ever have to like process I think we've all been through traumatic things in life we all go through these problems etc did you ever have to like process it deeply emotionally or were you more of a person that said I want to deal with it myself can I keep it more within and and deal with it in your own way I've always dealt with it myself really mm. I would advise people to do that mm. but I feel like I always looked at it like right it's done now innit like there's nothing I can do like it's here mm. I've just got to move forward because the more I sit there if I just dwell on it then they ain't gonna get me nowhere. It's fun, but yeah, just it's direct. You're gonna cut yeah. through it, which might be. A I mean, it's different processes different for different process people, innit? Like yeah, some yeah. people, I think you you just kind of learn one that's good for you mm. and run with that. And if it applies and it works for you, mm. definitely you have to just run with that because if you don't, like you said, sitting down with it and it being yeah. on your brain. Mm. Oh, so, I mean, so yeah, like, like you said, everyone's different. Mm. Everyone's got different coping mechanisms and whatever. Yeah. Do you know what? I found traveling <laughs> helped me, you know? Mm. Like, for example, I feel like traveling might have helped you because even the way you shared the experience in Colombia and the way you spoke about Jamaica, I think traveling made me realize, ah, it's going to be all right. Because you know, like, for example, when I lived it, just I didn't travel, my whole perception of life is just here. Yeah. And then I link up with Fuge. We go to America for like a month. I remember one time we were driving on Texas for like 10 hours, and even that experience in itself and everything we saw. In Texas, one minute it's just like cities, and then it's just mm. deserts, and mm. there was so much to take in within one yeah. atmosphere. You're like, Do you know what? There's more to life. There's yeah. so much more mm. to life than There's... what I'm dealing with in London. Like, it's not even that bad. I mean, one of the most favorite parts of these kind of trips for me were the strip clubs. <laughs> <laughs> they were great, bro. I mean, look, you know, you go and just for the you know, Atlanta, I made a few friends out there. It's, it's no, yo. 
it was you know what I'm saying though? it was amazing it's amazing like, bro there's couples in strip clubs yeah like couples I'm yeah, here chilling. with I've my missus yeah. it's, it's a whole process <laughs> Mind furthermore well, the strip clubs in London I'm sorry I don't want to diss the strip clubs in London but they are awful I'm not saying I go often these days I don't go these days but I used to I go very been. often the and CD in it yeah, it's a bit it's the dance seedy. is a bit slow and it's like you're in this like little room I used to go with my girlfriend yeah, yeah. Yes. I know, and <laughs> as a girl yeah. at the strip I moved to my girlfriend same here mm. and I was like what's this <laughs> well I just said you know what I mean <laughs> okay. as long as you're happy yeah. <laughs> nah yeah. yeah it doesn't it's in not America, the same it's a lot different yeah um, and there's like a club in it yeah, yeah. it's like a different boy do you know how the mission I bad it was one time I was like oh I'm hungry man like, yeah can we go to strip club the best of the food in there isn't it the food in Atlanta. Atlanta. What? You should go to Atlanta, bro. See the food in the strip club, mm. bro. Mm. Oh, and the food my. outside as well. The guys that, that are cooking up. So oh, the guys with the barbecue outside. God. If you're ever in ATL, go to the what's it called? King of Diamonds. King of Diamonds. Mm. Wait, King, of King of Diamonds. Diamonds. No, what's the one that Future always talks about? Yeah, I think KOD. Ke- yeah, oh. it must be King of Diamonds. I think it is that one. I think I'm it's- semi semi listening to you and trying to figure out why Callum went to the door. door. Maybe no his mum or something just came. No through. one rang our bell. Oh, no, nah, he's got post or something. Yo, Callum, you moving in? You alright, Callum? Yeah, man. Who's that? Or is it your food? Oh, you got food as well? Yes. Ah. Do you, have, do you have like a quite quite a tight circle of friends? Tight, yeah, bro. Right. Like, day. Yeah. Have your yeah. bands, keep to yourselves. Mm. Is that important for you to I have like it, um, a tight circle like that? No, 100%. 100%. I feel like it's just normality for me, innit? Ah, is that what keeps you from like yeah. not going crazy sometimes yeah. in this thing? Having your tight circle of friends and making sure and you go just, them. The people I know in it, I grew up with, so for me, I don't need to be around anybody else really. That's cool. I mean, now we can be your mm. friends. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We, like, yes. I could see us yeah, hanging yeah. out, like legit. I we could, could all like, go Iceland. <laughs> Horse ride. <laughs> 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 and go into the massive giant. <laughs> Outdoor jacuzzi. Mm, What's it called again? Right. What, the the Blue, Lagoon. Fjord, Blue Lagoon, oh. bro. And then there's like these things called the geysers or the geysers or something. Mm. And geysers Geezer. and just hot water just Common Island. it just comes out of the ground. Yeah, it's ridiculous. You were also gonna ask something. Oh yeah, did you ever have the question? Let's play for Jamaica or England. Mm-mm. No. Jamaica have a cool job. They have a cool job. But I might be going. <gasps> Is it? Mm. Yes! Well, I've just had a problem with my birth certificate, so I'm trying to sort, sort it out. Because yeah. you can play with Bailey, obviously. Leverkusen Gold Wilder. Cup. That is Gold Cup. I've close a couple times in a Gold Bro, Cup. Bro, Jamaica get close. I've seen them a couple games. They need to be back yeah. in the World Cup. That 1998 kit is the greatest football kit mm-hmm. of all time. They need to do a revamp version of football that. Kit. I don't oh. know how I feel about the Umbro versions of the Jamaica kit. I'm sorry, no, they have to go back to Kappa. Go back to Kappa, bro. <laughs> that kit was a legend. Dion Burton. Oh. Dion Burton. Ready, boys. Robbie Earl. Beating Japan. Oh, we beat Jap- Theodore Whitmore Which twice. Means. So, you potentially would play for Jamaica. Mm-hmm. Banging. And then just like great memories. Like, marriage is like great memories at like, the time we lost 5-0 to Argentina. <laughs> Gabriel Batistia scored a hat-trick. <laughs> Aerial team I've got two. Yeah, you know, you're close. What, Croatia lost 2-1, I think. Wasn't no, we it? lost 3-1. 3-1. We yeah. one, one against the Croats. Robbie Earl scored. Legend. A younger Robbie Earl, Wimbledon legend now. <clears throat> I'm not quite sure where he is. Don't say that about him. He's Robbie Earl. He's a Jamaican nah, he's hero. Legend. Soon to be joined by Andre Gray oh, yeah. and oh, Bailey. Have you tried Iran before? Hmm? Iran, you tried it before. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> not, nah, bang in, bro. Just try it. It's your bit. Drinking your bit. You want to try some? Well, so there's no more left, but... You never had Iran? So wait, was there no a one, Turkish no community in Wolves? Iran. No, not really. Uh, what kind of communities are there in, in Wolverhampton? Yeah, well, yeah, exactly. What um, kind of communities in Wolverhampton were there? Big Asian community. Yeah. Um, and just black community, really. Mm. Oh, mm. so you never had like... We had a massive Turkish community. Mm. Yeah. The Polish community. Shout Polish community Poles. when they came yeah. up. Dangerous. I love them so yeah. much. They weren't really on this conversation yeah. too. There's nah. a few, but yeah. like not like major. Mm. Not major. Not How was it growing up in Wolves though? Fun. Fun. <laughs> <laughs> was it a vibe? It must have been Just a like vibe though. Getting up to nonsense, having fun. Like, it seems like it's different to London though. I feel like there is yeah. more community spirit. We were like, 
always like behind from London. Mm. Uh, okay, like boot cuts like, and stuff. Yeah. So he's, he's still wearing like, boot cuts now or? No, no, I'm mad. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you're mad. But like, like boot cuts are coming yeah, back for him. Everything caught up with us late in it. I think that was just normal. Mm. That happened, yeah, that, that, that is definitely normal yeah. when it comes to cities, London, mm. and all of that. Yeah, London's always like first, in it? And then, but yeah, it was all right, man. Yeah. Do you get DM'd by a lot of girls? Like, do you get, did you have that issue and being like, nah, little mixed fans. Just a little. Is it? <laughs> mixed fans. Do you must get yeah, bare of them though, innit? Yeah. Nightmare. <laughs> Are they like, are they like the Beyonce fans? I've heard it. Is it crazy? <laughs> Non-stop. What, they're just DMing you? Just, mm. What, what, they're like, you're beautiful, you're this and that. I don't know, I don't even read them. You oh, is just it? see their, I'll show you, you just see like... The profile picture is yeah. the girls from Little Mate, probably. Like, look. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> little Mick, Little Mick. Oh, yeah. Oh, my <coughs> God. Yeah, don't stories. stop. Filipino mixers. That's interesting. You, <laughs> that is mad, that's such bro. an interesting marriage of like mm. two different types of people. Like, and they're just in your DMs, just breathing <laughs> up. Yeah. Nah, I couldn't deal with you, Have you ever responded like, oh, thank you, or like, nah, no, never? Do they bother you in the streets as well sometimes? Um, nah. Yeah. Just her. Too scared. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just keep. I'll just keep walking. Even when people notice, I'm just like, boom. Is that hard to deal with as well? Like the people, like obviously, like for example, if I saw you in the street, mm. I would say, hey, "Aren't you great?" Like mm. I'd be gassed, and then I'd carry on with my life because I don't mind. For her, it's worse. Mm. Is it? Because mm. so the younger demographic as well, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. obsessed with the yeah. music in which she mm. makes. It doesn't. How does that affect you, though? I don't mind. I really think her friends are legend. Which the one, one that said bad ending. <laughs> oh, said what? But in the <laughs> <laughs> the Jamaican accent thing. <laughs> that was a bad, you know. Have you heard the, the actual full version of it? That's not it's the full version. Because someone's I've obviously never. just cut, that, cut, cut that bit out and then. said that was a uh, trying the accent, weak word. <laughs> Wasn't it? Yeah. Oh, oh they you know, killed she, her. They said do it, and she. she, she I she think her that. brain yeah. just glitched. Mm. And then she went it, and then yeah. she was like, then she did it, and it was all right. <laughs> but the Balengde part is absolutely for me. It's not a thing to make I, a thing. I'm gonna like, make a t-shirt of that. I'm doing it. But you have I'm to cut that it. part out. Like, no, it's all right, it and get her. You gotta do it now. Why? So by the time this comes out, it's already been done, so no one does it. As well. True. I bet someone must have done it by now. Sure. Yeah, it's normal. We'll do it again. Yeah. She's that. That is honestly that, right? made me laugh yeah, so much before. Huh? That used to that make yeah. me laugh. That's one of the funniest things that I've seen him. I genuinely in my life crying. <laughs> be honest, like on replay. <laughs> I'm being honest. When you get to Jamaica, yeah, yeah when you yeah. get to Montego Airport, it should just welcome <laughs> you <laughs> with. <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah, <laughs> 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 oh, maybe a statue of her. Yeah. In Kingston <laughs> Town. It's the Bob. Yeah, her Bob and Usain Bolt. Wow, Raheem Sterling, Raheem Sterling, Andre Gray. It's quite a few legends we got yeah, in Jamaica. Got a couple of legends. Very really Im- impactful nation for the size of it. Do you know what I would love to have a statue in Jamaica? I can't lie. Oh, I don't know if it could happen. No, I hope never. it does, but nah, never. There's no chance. Yeah, unless I build it myself. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Set on some mountain somewhere. It's just a statue uh, for me, me alone. FIFA, I play FIFA. A little bit, a little bit, yeah. Fuck you just don't look on it as well. Nah, nah I can't be honest. Ain't a good man. I kind of get you though. I feel like if I was a footballer, I'd possibly be quite similar to you. Oh. I'd find the misses, just chill. Keep it simple, innit? Keep it simple. Go on holidays, yeah. like, really and truly, just keep it simple. I think, Cosmo, you know when your life's mad complicated when you're younger? You want to yeah. you you make it simple. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. You need, you need some normality. That's what I, mean, I keep saying. Like, if I, when, I'm not saying if, if sounds like doubt, uh, when I make the peas, oh, yeah. why am I out here? You're know saying I might be there for the banter, though. A little That's the thing. here and there. You know what I'm saying the, the banter and when well, it goes back to what Andre said, Andre goes like, you say, you think all of these things, yeah. and then you, you get, get there. there it's like that's true. Even when we think about going for food, and I'm just, we just, oh, we just chill. <laughs> We're saying just order in. Yeah. This podcast is going to be titled Andre Ray, the chillest man in the world. Yeah, no, you are the chillest. Plus horse riding, and that's it. <laughs> <laughs> that's the title. 
that's it. I, I don't know what else to kind of say, you know. I came into this preconceived. I'm, obviously, I'm trying to get like info. I ain't trying to have a con, like deep con. Like, it doesn't have to be deep. <laughs> you can just have a local laugh. Yeah, I mean, you, you're you. used to like, the podcast, like a long yeah. time. It's meant to be mm. a deep convo. Yeah. And my expectation is calm, you know. But then we find out other things, and mm. I think that's kind of cool. <laughs> it doesn't have to be deep, because I, I can't always be deep. That's, that's boring, man. But I love the fact that you tapped into horse riding. And we saw and that I video. That it. video I is. I pressured it. You did. And I chipped away at the rock, and there it was. Because you could have given up on his iPhone away at any point. Gas got the exclusive. Oh. So it's good. Jamaica horse riding. Yeah. We've got a few, few, few things. There must be another because we have. It's a little mixed team. Yeah. We've got traveling stories for years. Yeah, we do have plenty. Oh my god, plenty, plenty. In plenty. Thailand. Thailand oh. with the boys or with the missus. With the missus. Okay. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah. I've, been, I've been loads of places but Japan? Mm-mm. no what's Stop. the most interesting place you've been where no black people really go Colombia I think I don't think yeah. no only oh, now people yeah, Columbia. yeah only now Lots people have seen people starting to go there and that, but it's so sick mm. cheap as well yeah. oh is it? mad cheap are you a saver or are you a spender? both both mm. anyone? both both Give and take, come and go. Yeah, I hear that. Mm. I see the gram. The designer wardrobe is definitely. Oh, is he a designer? Yeah, 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 Papa. Okay, but today he's come very calm. You come very calm. Yeah. Oh, this is how I dress most that's days. That's Tony there. I'm putting really it down safe. I didn't want that to happen to the oh. Stone Island Jack. What do you reckon? What do you reckon post football? I know obviously what we say we can't really predict the future. Mm. We don't know. We say we're going to do it. It might not happen. Do you post football in career? Have you had any thoughts? Maybe where you go, what you do. Nah, not really. Coaching? Would it be mm. maybe? <laughs> no, 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 he's over it. The man is done. The man said, oh, no. Some things are for certain people and not and uh, You're you know. not on it. Nah. It's one of easy life, you know. Just yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, I don't blame you. I want to do something that'll just keep me occupied, innit? Yeah, like David James um, paints. Yeah. He painted me. Like a really big painting. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like He painted Vooch. Like it made no sense, but <laughs> David it's a James big painting. painting of- he was, a, he was a, I was at Luton with him, innit? He's a mad one. Is it? Were you at Luton with, with yeah, yeah. Jamesy? Oh, I give please. us a Jamesy story. He's too funny. He's nah, the funniest I, guy. Yeah, man. I just remember he used to. He, he had this purple van and it was all done up like an old. Was it like an old Astra van? It's like a small one. And you just see him get out of it every morning and he's so tall. And he's in this little van, like done up bright purple and that. I was, we couldn't figure it out. <laughs> like, it made no sense. Couldn't figure it out. <laughs> like David James, uh, he's an enigma. Yeah. That's why I like him because he's so out there. Yeah, yeah. His brain definitely, you know, yeah, thinks yeah. a lot differently to footballers yeah, and to nice general guy, people. Man. He's, oh, he's nice great. Guy. He's a great. I, pre- I appreciate him. I appreciate yeah. his presence in football. I just love the fact that he painted you, and I love the fact that one time he filmed the wall and then deleted it straight away. Filmed the wall. I said, "What did he say?" He's like, oh, "Don't need that." Don't need that. <laughs> Why did you film it? He filmed the wall for a minute, watched it back, and said, oh, I don't need that. And did he, and I- Nah, he's great. He's great. Incredible, man. Fully, fully great. Oh, ah, he's well. Fun. Something to touch up on anything else, chat about, I don't know. Nah, man, I might just chill here and just try and keep begging friend of you. Give me some more food. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, friend. And hopefully go libs one day. Yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to wait for the invite, innit? And that's me. <laughs> I, 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 I'm, I'm the, I tend to dance. So that's the attraction. So if you need a guy to dance, to just, you know. I don't think you need that on your table. If you were getting, <laughs> you're getting enough attention. But, you know what I'm saying? If you ever want a guy that dance. A clown. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just bring that dancer guy around. Fuck it. <laughs> Yo. Come around. Well, we need some entertainment, innit? And then we we'll have Rouge. <laughs> Go to live. Me, I'm more of a just a talker. So if you need someone to just talk us mm. out of situations. Yeah. Talk in, talk out. Bit of mm. both. Bit of both, bit of both. Anyone. Provocative. Apart from that. You're a provocateur. A little bit of a provocateur. But I used to be a little, I hear you though. Sometimes you want to like poke mm. a little, just saying, just to give a little. A little bit. Give the world a little bit of a. <laughs> shake you. You need a little bit of a shake up, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. I'd love, to, I'd love to be a spokesperson for the Premier League. I would ruin everything. Yeah, I hear you. This weekend was terrible. Yeah, no, yeah. 
We spent too much VAR. VAR. You care about VAR? Yeah. Don't like it. She hate as well? Yeah. I don't know one footballer that likes it. What's going on? Why is it here? Money. Obviously. Mm. So VAR got invited to a party, but no one wants it there. But it's still at the party. That's annoying. Those people are annoying. Someone must happen to hire up in it. Someone must be making money somewhere because it don't make no sense. Mm. Was it a VAR no, decision? No sense at all. None. That Leicester one was crazy. The Leicester, yeah. stupid because he's coming backwards anyway. So even if he's offside from that, he wasn't advancing that way. Yeah, you're going back and then gave it off. It's just stupid, man. And then it's like, if the people within the game yourselves yeah. are not happy, yeah. like, I'll be honest with you, when you're younger, you're a bit naive and silly mm. like I was, I'm just like, at, at someone else's pain, mm. I could find pleasure. Mm. Mm. You get a little bit older, you meet these footballers, you're like, these are just human beings, mm. oh, sugar. Mm. So when I see footballers not happy, mm. I'm not entertained. Like I'm not watching football for footballers not to be happy and Stupid the discomfort man. in seeing a footballer not celebrate or yeah. apprehensive whether to celebrate. Yeah, like, I don't yeah. want to see that. I want to see the passion. So I mean, imagine like last minute or something of a game, mm. and it's by a flipping toe oh. that you've been a World Cup final. A yeah. toe offside. Oh, if you were size eight, you would have won the World Cup. Oh. <laughs> oh. It's mad, isn't it? It's true though. That's what it's down to. Oh, you yeah. forgot your boots, so you had to wear the size, the size 10s, and yeah. now it's ruined everything. You can't yeah, you believe. You forgot the 9.5s at home. Yeah. And it wasn't even your fault, it was Nike who didn't send the right boot, and now it's yeah, Nike. Right, Grandma did something or left. Yeah. Oh, I burned down the company. Burned down the buildings. Mad, That's insane, isn't it? Stupid, man. So dumb. So, footballing wise, you're taking it pretty easy. You're not trying to do a madness, go Barca. Jamaica probably international, hopefully. Yeah. Touch wood. I'd love to come out for that. I'd go out for that game. 100%. Oh, yeah. You might do what they do sometimes. They play their games at like QPR or something like that because yeah. they realise yeah. no, heritage. Go out to Jamaica no, and watch it. Well. No, they will play their home games over here sometimes yeah. and play games. I want to see you lot in Qatar. Yeah. Oh, don't say that. Yeah, it's World Cup qualifiers this year, isn't it? Yeah. Serious? Yeah, I think so. If you can get to Qatar. Mm. That's what my fingers are crossed. Mm. I've seen things already. I can see that happening. If Jamaica qualify for the next World Cup, I'm 100% going crazy. Yeah, it's insanity. Mm. That's in, that's, there's a chance. Andre Gray now. We've just got to figure out who else we can try and speak. Maybe Danny, if we can get Danny Rose to revoke what he's done for England, come over to Jamaica as well. You guys have a good team. We could have a banging mm. team. Get that. Daniel Sturridge, just revoke. You can play next mm. one. Leon Bailey. That, I'm just saying anyway. Imagine the team we could have. Jamaica Imagine the team. Sit Sterling. Get Sterling yeah, to just so come back over here. Carl Walker, I think it was. Carl Walker. So if everyone just goes back home. Yeah. Brexit. <laughs> <laughs> Might as well, innit? Oh, we should all just go back home, innit? It's probably deporting everyone now, anyway, so. Yeah. yeah Windrush was mad. <sighs> no, it's actually, it is a big joke aside, though. They've yeah. deported like 50 people. Bro, they sent back my brother's uncle. Serious? Yeah. Mm. Mad thing. Martin, yeah, moving a bit mad. The uncle went did, back swift. Did you stay away from all that kind of news and all that? No, nah, it's bad, yeah, man. Cool. They've been doing it for years, though. Mm, have they? Yeah, they've been doing it for years. I just don't understand how you can send someone back who's lived there since they were a child. That's actually insane. You know what I mean? Mm. Came, yeah. The uncle was here when he was three. And then the terrorists are staying in the country. It don't make no sense. I mean, Begum. You can't I really sit thing. here and defend ones that have been done for rape and murder, but there's people that ain't, you know what I mean? I've seen mm. one guy who got done for manslaughter or something, for mm. having a fight. But I'm like, you know what manslaughter is? It's not like they put it in the paper, like convicted murder, but then it, you read down and it's saying it's manslaughter. Wow. So you're like, you know, there's a massive are. difference between <clears throat> manslaughter and murder. There's a massive yeah. difference yeah. between manslaughter Huge and difference. murder. Unfortunately, that's why I advise everyone build up your thing back home. So mm. if they do ship you back, at least you have somewhere for go. That's true. That's all I advise. Mm. Man, well, man, look, thank you for joining us. Every time, man. In time, take uh, whatever you want. You can take some home takeaway <laughs> for later. Just bare grease, fam. Hello, <laughs> grease. <laughs> Should be. Yeah, um, I'd recommend you know maybe post football documentaries. Um, horse riding, one. horse riding. Yeah, yeah. We've done that already, so yeah. we need to find another thing for you. <laughs> Not sure what though. It'll come to my head. I'll DM you. <laughs> um, you know, I'm not a little mixed fan. Just so yeah. You know. Just about end it, 
She's incredible. If she can send us I'd a video, to meet her one day. Lewin. She must get it all the time. Though. Yeah, I know, but I still want. But I love to just meet her and get a photo. Yeah. Just like, I just want us to see Bariande because that's Bye. viral. She should just make a song. That's viral content. Yeah. If, she ever, if she ever wants to make viral content, if she does a video. She's probably us. fine though. She made a lot of money. Just meet you at Bariande video. That'd be incredible. Maybe one day. <laughs> that's viral. But nah, man. Thank you. That's like, karaoke. I can see you being good at karaoke. <laughs> You lot got me twisted, boy. Ah! <laughs> Carry on, dude. No. Come on, I'm trying to get him out of the same. Get out of the show. No, no way. way. <laughs> Go on with Chandos. That's it. It's a document. That's, that. That's the first episode. Um, karaoke. Karaoke, yeah. 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 All right. Well, now, thank you um, for joining us, sharing food, conversation, banter. Yeah, a lot. It's all right. Solid. That's good. Um, <laughs> better than your usual interviews, I think. Yeah, it's chilled, isn't it? I like it, isn't it? Just relax and chill. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I watched the other one. I was like, oh, you can't be asked with this guy. He's yeah. standing yeah. up. It's <laughs> cold <laughs> outside. <laughs> the guy's asking him stuff. Standing uh, here, he's like, how oh, difficult no, was no. that growing yeah. up? Oh, fuck, oh, fuck yeah, off, fuck off, kid. That's all right. I did what I had to do. Anyway. Yeah. Yeah, no, like, <laughs> <laughs> what do you want from me? <laughs> all right, all right, Dan. That's it. That's it. <laughs> Yeah, because you could just copy and paste it off somewhere else, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, I definitely hear you can't be asked to that. Yeah. That's alright, man. Now we, we touched some interesting subjects. And now we wish you the best, honestly, bro. It's been a pleasure. I've been following your career in a strange way, but, you know, thank you. Yeah. Moving, Andre Gray. I score against Love. Arsenal, though. It's I find great. everything's funny. When are we playing then? Oh, end of the season. Yeah. Uh, well, last game? Yeah. Man, have a nice. Can you, you have to say have a nice. Oh, yeah, to the, the camera. camera. Say have a nice. Have a nice. Thanks. That's it. Everyone's a different girl. She's moving the foot. No, come on, bring it with a come on. He won! Oh shit. Alright, bro. I didn't even get to do my taxi show. <laughs> That's on a giant thumb. Hold your thumb down, cuz. Oh, I'm out. Oh, you can't leave that. Yeah, that's, 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 that